Hello, I'm Bernie Norcott Mahaney. Um, I work at the Blueford branch of the Kansas City Public Library and I also teach at Johns County Community College. April is National Poetry Month and I am taking time each day to share a poem or in some cases two um, with, uh, with you. Uh, poems are meant to be heard. I hope that my example might encourage some of you to find some poems and read them aloud um, you know, in the privacy of your room or read to a friend or, you know, tag team read. Um, but reading the stuff aloud really, I think, helps. Um, today I'm going to be reading a poem by Phyllis Wheatley. Phyllis Wheatley was a slave um, in Boston. Um, she lived, you know, in the 1700s. Um, at that time, there were some families that owned slaves. Slavery later was um, forbidden, um, you know, in Boston. Uh, and Boston became one of the one of the uh, centers of the abolitionist movement. But at this point, she is a, a slave. Um, the um, uh, she learned to read and write, uh, and she wrote poetry. Um, and in fact. Uh, when some of her poems were published uh, in Boston newspapers, um, you know, the the initial reaction was, oh, this this couldn't have been written by a slave, and she actually had to prove that she had written them, and, and she did so. Um, so this is a poem by Phyllis Wheatley entitled, To the University of Cambridge in New England. Now, the University of Cambridge is now known as Harvard University because um, John Harvard uh, gave to the university, uh, which he had gone to as a young man, had uh, his library, which consisted of 300 volumes, which, you know, at the time, like, pretty much doubled the library. So because of that generous gift, the uh, university then became known as Harvard. Um, so, Phyllis Wheatley to the University of Cambridge in New England. While an intrinsic ardor prompts to write, the muses promised to assist my pen. T'was not long since I left my native shore, the land of errors and Egyptian gloom. Father of mercy, t'was thy gracious hand brought me in safety from those dark abodes. Students, to you tis given to scan the heights above, to traverse the ethereal space and mark the systems of revolving worlds. Still more, ye sons of science, ye receive the blissful news by messengers from heaven, how Jesus' blood for your redemption flows. See him with hands outstretched upon the cross. Immense compassion in his bosom glows. He hears revelers, nor resents their scorn. What matchless mercy in the Son of God! When the, whole, when the whole human race by sin had fallen, he deigned to die that they might rise again and share with him in the sublimest skies life without death and glory without end. Improve your privileges while they stay, ye pupils, and each hour redeem that bears or good or bad report of you to heaven. Let sin, that baneful evil to the soul, by you be shunned, nor once remit your guard. Suppress the deadly serpent in its egg, ye blooming plants of human race divine. An Ethiop tells you, tis your greatest foe. Its transient sweetness turns to endless pain, and in immense perdition sinks the soul. So, that was um, to the University of Cambridge in New England by Phyllis Wheatley. Um, here, a, a poem directed by her, a slave and a person of color, to the privileged youth uh, studying in Cambridge. Um, you know, commenting on the fact that they have this privilege and they have this great opportunity to do something with that privilege and that they should do so. Um, so, that's today's poem, and we'll be back one more time tomorrow for one last poem, and I will see you then.